we want to provide them like the most seamless experience to tokenize their assets. Customized support, tailored solution, approach where like we treat them as like partners. Zero knowledge is the one to go with. Um, we raised like $30 million through node sales. Um, there was a token swap event on Binance. Hey everyone, we're here today with Mehmed, who is the core contributor for business development at Lumia, one of our favorite clients, obviously. Yeah. Um, we wanted to discuss today um, Lumia and the next big thing for them, but also on top of that, there's been this conversation lately in Web3 about mm -hmm. zero knowledge and how it compares to OP, uh, what are the hurdles, what are the benefits, where is the tech right now? Um, as one of the most active uh, EVM chains right now who are public, I feel like there's no one better to actually respond to this question and share with us their experience um, using uh, Polygon CDK stack. So without further ado, thank you so much for joining us today and taking the time. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about Lumia? Mm -hmm. um, I think you guys are so famous, everyone <laughs> pretty much aware, but it's, it never hurts to actually have a little uh, TLDR um, about where you're at, what you're doing, what you're excited about. Yeah, sure, sure. hit me. Um, so first of all, thank you so much for having us here. It, it, it's our great pleasure to be here and like do this interview together. So really appreciate the opportunity. Um, so yeah, I'll give an introduction of myself and Lumia. Uh, I'm a core contributor at Lumia, focusing on business. Um, as you mentioned, we are a ZK EVM blockchain. Um, our purpose, our goal in the long term is to be the go-to-place go go place for real-world assets. Um, we want to provide them like the most seamless experience to tokenize their assets. Uh, and after tokenizing, not just leaving it there, also like bringing those assets to DeFi uh, to offer them like better yields, better opportunities. Um, using AI, as you mentioned, using zero knowledge technology. Um, so our ecosystem is basically like the mainnet launch was just like very, very new. Mm -hmm. um, and like, but we have a very decent amount of like verbal commitments. The testnet numbers were very promising. Uh, so overall, we are happy about that. Um, and yeah, this is like a short intro introduction of Lumia. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So you mentioned projects that um, you're talking to. What is the main value prop? Uh, that you guys give to people mm -hmm. who want to come and build on Lumia? Great question. Um, so, you know, we try to go above and beyond, of course. Um, in terms of, like, technology, like, we, we use ZK because, like, that's what we believe is the most relevant tech stack for us to use, and we just see, like, a great long-term value there uh, for builders and also users in terms of, like, security and, like, you know, uh, transaction speed and um, prices, etc. The cost, sorry. Um, besides that, though, like besides like the technology and like the um, offering of the tokenization, as I mentioned, like the yields. What are what, what are they going to be like? What's mm -hmm. going to happen to those ass assets after they tokenize? Um, besides that, we also provide like customized support for our builders. So mm -hmm. anyone that's building on Lumia can very easily communicate with us through like our community channels or our, like website, email us, etc. And then we basically spend time with them to understand like what their KPIs are. Mm -hmm. And then depending on their KPIs, as a foundation, we will try to offer them a tailored solution um, because like some dApps will go for the TVL, some will go for building a large community, ASAP, mm -hmm. like the, the needs depend on like the builders themselves and, and can change um, from one to another. So whatever they need, like we try to put this like approach where like we treat them as like partners. Um, so we will be doing like, you know, the traditional things that you see on other change, chains, but also even if they like propose us something, like they have a good idea to work on together, like mm -hmm. a special event that they want to host in a, like a lo multiple locations, we are always open for those things, whether it's like marketing, financial incentives, introduction for their like business team to build partnerships, mm -hmm. or um, basically like a tech in, uh, tech integration that they need from us um, or, or a new future for us to build, we will always be open uh, to those conversations. 
Amazing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I know when I, whenever I talk to your team, one of the things that stayed uh, in my mm. mind was uh, the team decided not to lock in with any of the providers mm -hmm. of any tooling that goes mm -hmm. on top of chain. Their main thing was whatever the builders are using, mm -hmm. we're going to implement. So it's not as much about um, just um, selecting partnerships that are at, like maybe business-wise the most lucrative ones, but actually you guys are really focused on what the communi community needs. Mm -hmm. So I noticed that you try to accommodate mm -hmm. the builders before anything yeah. else. And thank I think I think the community yeah. appreciates that. Yeah, really. thank you so much. Like, um, you know, we are one of those companies who focus more on the, 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 the builders, the partners, the users, instead of the competition. So, you know, like also... Exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's refreshing. It's, it's refreshing. <laughs> because we're looking at it from a long-term perspective. So, like, we want, we want to be here for, like, you know, decades, not just, like, three years or not just for one bull run. So we are not in a rush to, you know, win something or earn something, especially financially, in, in the short term. Our, our focus is just long term, and once we build the right community and the fundamentals, I think like success comes uh, as, a, as, a, as a, like a, a follow-up. Oh, 100%, yeah. 100%. Mm -hmm. And at least in Web3, the community does appreciate that, I feel <laughs> like. Maybe yeah. in more commercialized spaces, it's not like that, but I think, I think with us, that's, a, that's you know, the right way to go for you I'll guys. agree with that with an example, like our Twitter followers like doubled in a very short amount of time, um, just a few weeks. So I think like that, that shows like the interest and like that we're doing some, some things right. So we're of Absolutely. course happy, happy about that. Absolutely, yeah. and RWA is such a big narrative for, for the entire industry. Mm -hmm. I think you guys have really big, big things coming. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, real world assets like BlackRock is very um, interested in that area and saying like positive mm -hmm. things. So, you know, as, as the, one of the leading firms in the TradFi space, I think like their opinion is very valuable. And um, the reason why we fo like decided to come up with this like new product and like new mm -hmm. tech and new business model was basically bec because of the research that we have done in the past. Um, we believe that like the demand uh, will keep growing very aggressively. Uh, so the early joiners uh, in the supply side will be able to have an opportunity to serve that demand um, from, from the fir first mm. row. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, before I ask you about mm -hmm. what's like the big thing, the next big thing for Lumia and what you guys are excited about. I just wanted to briefly discuss because I think that's what yeah. everyone uh, cares about is ZK. You guys have opted for it rather than OP. Mm -hmm. It's not, yeah. a, a, not as popular uh, mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, people say it's still too early, uh, it's still too expensive. There are several, several comments on it. but. Mm -hmm. Your chain is actually uh, extremely active mm -hmm. and the network is supporting it. We're not seeing any major um, issues no. there. So I was just curious to learn more about what has been your experience mm -hmm. um, and uh, why did you, you know, yeah, decide sure, sure. to go that route? So um, whether it's like ZK or like the other options available, um, they, the purpose is the same. Uh, they want to make like, you know, a more scalable, cost-effective, et cetera, chain that is like very secure, et cetera. Um, we just like looked at all the options and then believed that like zero knowledge is the one to go with because of our needs, uh, because of like the security offering it has, because of like the transaction speed, um, the cost for the users, et cetera, was just like very advantageous. And looking at it from like a long-term point of view, we were just like believers in ZK tech, not just for a few years, but mm a decade or more. So like we wanted something that we truly believe that will be efficient in the long term. Um, our tech team basically like offered to use this and everyone was aligned to go with CK. Mm. So we believe that this is like the best approach that we have, uh, that we can have towards um, offering the best infrastructure to the, to the builders right now. Mm. I like how you said yeah. ZK and other options, as if <laughs> they don't even measure up, you oh, know? They, 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 I, I don't mean to say that. Of course, like... No, no, it, it shows commitment. <laughs> I like that. Different types of advantages, I would say, for like True. different types of vertical. 100%. For what we're offering um, and like what we like care about the most, such as like security and other things, ZK was the best option to go with and very happy with that. Um, we, we became like the top performing um, chain on Polygon CDK testnet. So that's something we're very proud of. 
Uh, we also have like a very good relationship with them. One of the co-founders is our like advisor we just announced that weeks ago. Mm. Uh, so we just hope that like that continues uh, just as good as it's been treating us so far. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And well, as uh, as providers of the stack for mm -hmm. you guys, um, I do I do have to ask, what is your yeah. experience of working with Gateway? Of course, um, to be honest, it's been almost perfect. Like I, I I don't have like any negative things to say about you guys. This is like I was mostly impressed by like the support you guys were able to provide to us. Like our tech team had some questions, um, and like on our group together, like there were instant responses mm. so that that was like really really convenient like we never had to delay anything in our roadmap like nothing was like stuck there so thank you for that really appreciate it that's one um two we were able to like share ideas with you guys just as like a business partner even like above and beyond like what we planned in the first place so we didn't just come and like purchase something from you as a customer but like we were like business partners like talking mm. and discussing ideas about like what we can do as even as like a new product or like a new future. I don't want to jinx it now because we're still talking about it and it's not announced. Um, but like, I think like there's great angles that we've been collaborating on. So that's mm -hmm. like the business part where, where I'm focusing that I'm very happy about. Um, also the co-marketing, you guys were like very generous, you know, inviting me here, etc. So like it was above and beyond just like a regular customer and a product perspective. It was more like a business partnership that benefited both parties in multiple ways. So I would definitely recommend people to work with you. Oh, I yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. No, we, we really take pride in that. Um, mm -hmm. And we don't want to even profile mm -hmm. ourselves as a RAS provider because mm -hmm. we feel like we are truly a platform level partner mm -hmm. uh, for more than just the roll up or the chain. Mm -hmm. We try to provide services on top, but also connections to our partners anything that can um, help you speed up development, get you faster to market, that's the name of the game for us. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, like I always felt very comfortable to ask you guys for an introduction um, or like, you know, an idea that I wanted to discuss in terms of mm. like something that can be a win-win. Uh, so I think that was a great approach and really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. And I, I appreciate the kind words. I mean, we yeah. all know that the market is pretty mm -hmm. young and new mm -hmm. overall speaking. Mm -hmm. And then the products in it, are not necessarily as mature as mm -hmm. what you see in Web2. And when I say that, I don't even mean the tech. I mean ma mainly the regular you know, packaging of the product mm -hmm. and the service that goes along with it and the support and so on. Yeah, yeah. So for us, a big focus right now is because um, we've been doing a lot of you know, in-person support for mm -hmm. clients and, and trying to be there. We're now also developing <coughs> documentation and mm -hmm. stuff clients can use when we're possibly offline so that you can get even mm -hmm. more information faster. It's all streamlined. So I, I would mm -hmm. say in a way we're working on maturing the product as well as the mm -hmm. tech, which I feel like is the problem in, in the industry, you know? Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. tech is so fresh. Yeah. We're, we're focusing on it maybe more than, uh, than anything else. You're but right. New things you know, keep coming. The industry oh, is like ev day. evolving. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, like, um, some of them are very, very interesting too. Like some of them have really like, good fundamentals. Um, so I think it's very important to communicate often with partners um, and like always like have an understanding of like what their roadmap is, like what's next for them and then where you can add value for both parties. A hundred percent. Okay, last question. Sure. Talk to me about what you guys are excited about. What's in your roadmap for next year? Like the, the one big thing and then also what do you think? Sure. What do you think the tech will bring us in 2025 sure, sure. that will be a game so, changer? Honestly, like there's been many things that I've been personally very excited about that has happened in like the past past few months. Um, we raised like thirty million dollars through note sales. Um, there was a token swap e event on Binance. Um, we got some like very very like interesting advisors on on board. Some of them we have announced. Some of them we haven't. We got like really really like strong partnerships. Some of the, like the largest names in the industry for long years. Um, we haven't announced them, but we'll announce them soon. Mm. Um, so, like, we are, I think, like, we are cooking good things in the kitchen. Um, so you will, you will hear, hear a lot of them from our social media channels. Uh, but, like, overall, you know, new partners coming in, new advisors coming, making some new, like, exciting hires, being, you know, listed on new exchanges. Mm. So these are all on, in the roadmap. Um, and we'll be, you know, announcing them through our social. So I encourage everyone to like 
have a, ha, keep an eye on them. Absolutely, yeah. and the market's looking pretty good yeah. recently, you know? We've all, I uh, think, noticed the uptick Absolutely, uh, for uh, many, uh, many reasons, Web3 mm -hmm. and, and uh, non-Web3 reasons as well. True, true, very, very exciting times ahead. Um, just like, you know, uh, can't wait to see what, where we're gonna be in five years, you know? Amazing. Super exciting. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for taking the time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I hope we managed to answer some mm -hmm. questions and get some real life insights by people who actually use the tech and not just talk about it. So um, thank you all so much. Thank you again. My pleasure. Uh, thank you. And uh, talk to you soon.